Welcome to this movement routine for deep sleep. We're gonna be combining some gentle movement, mobility, stretching, and flow combined with our breath work to help to calm and ease the mind at the end of the day to help us either get to sleep or just unwind in the evening. And we're also gonna just try to clear some of the tension from the day, any pain or stiffness stuck in our body. We'll try to clear some of that out. So, hope you'll join me, feet under the shoulders. We'll just start with a little mobilizing. Mobilizing the joints. We're just gonna have the hands on the hips, circle the hips. Always a nice one after a day of sitting or standing. Just mobilize the hips, waist, and lower back. Now we'll go the other direction. This will be a nice gentle routine, not really getting the heart rate up keeping ourselves calm and relaxed. Good, to the center. Let's find an exercise we call the tray of teacups. Palms are face up, the fingers are pointed towards your forehead. This one takes a little bit of coordination, but we're just gonna go over to our left and then down to the right, hands like they're holding a tray. Over to the left again, and up to the right. So it's like we're holding a tray of teacups and moving it in a figure eight. The fingers point towards the body and away from the body. Towards the body, away from the body. So we circle the hips, spiral through the wrists and shoulders. Just a nice one to open up all our joints, clear tension. You just take some deep breaths through the nose as we do this. Come to the top and reverse directions. We go from the top over to the right, down to the left hip, over to the right hip, up to the left. Don't worry if this one's a little tough the first time. Good. Bring it down and around, spread the feathers, press with your palms, pull the fingers back towards you, lift through your crown, lean the head over to one side, and just give the head a slow nod over one shoulder. Looking for a stretch from the side of the neck down to the inside of the palm. A couple deep breaths as we stretch. Chin to chest, over to the other side. Inhale back, exhale forward. And release, give it a shake, very nice. All right, let's take that stretching down into the lower body now, taking the legs nice and wide. Hopefully you have a long, uh, wide enough log to stand on in your house. This one we call the elephant. This is a nice full stretch for the lower body, hips and spine. We're gonna hold one hand with the other, reach up. Then we're gonna hinge forward, coming over straight legs, finding a little stretch. And as we get to the bottom, we're gonna bend the knees and roll up through the spine. Reaching up. Hinging forward, stretch, bend the knees, roll up. 
I should have thought about my location a little better. This one's nice to show from the side, but hopefully you understand. We have a rounded spine as we roll up and a straight back and straight legs as we come down. Exhaling down, inhaling up. Nice deep breaths, exhale down. Inhale up, then we're gonna hold at the top, turn our hips and ribs and chest towards the left. Then we're gonna come down for the left leg. This one we're gonna sweep across the bottom slowly. Over to the right, lift on the right. And then come down to the right. Sweeping across the bottom, a little stretch as we move across. Coming up, and you might come up enough that you actually find a little hip flexor stretch here. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, last one, let's just come down to the bottom. Relax and stretch. You can even turn your toes a little bit in towards each other. Pull that stretch up the outside of the legs. If this bothers your low back, you can always do this with a straight spine instead of rounding. It's kind of trippy looking at rivers upside down. <laughs> Roll it up. Let's bring our feet back in. Give it a little shake. Very nice. <clears throat> feet back under the shoulders. And let's give ourselves a full body shake. Not too vigorous today, just a little bounce. So any tension left in our body. Stirring it up, helping it to break up and release through a few sighing breaths. Let's let those out in the mouth. <sighs> Slow it down, pause, feel your chi. Nice deep breath. Good, we'll move into our flows. Take your palms face up, draw up to the chest. Turn the palms face down above the heart. Press back down to the lower abdomen. Turn palms up, inhale. Turn palms down, exhale, this time all the breath through the nose. Inhale up. Exhale down. You'll notice I rise slightly as though my heart fills with helium. And then I sink like the lower abdomen has a heavy stone in it. in our Taoist energy anatomy. This is harmonizing the heart, the fire center, with the water region of the so chest and lower abdomen. So in Chinese medicine, there's a few main causes of poor sleep. One of them is the heart being overstimulated, sort of an overactive mind, over emotional, not grounded and balanced by the water element or sinking type of energy. And I always like to keep in mind, these are just metaphors, fire, water, all these things. Just metaphors for the different types of energy within you. Let's sink it down. So another common cause of poor sleep is a stagnant liver chi. So that's your wood element. So it's sort of too much rising, ambition, uh, stress, that sort of energy. So we're gonna clear that out with this motion we call the tree sways in the wind. So we're gonna drop to the top of the head, 
Turn to the center, hands float out to the side like the tree grows branches. Arms round, turn slightly to the other side. Inhale, drawing up like the tree pulls the water up from the earth. Turn to the center. Exhale like the tree opens the branches. So harmonizing that liver chi, that wood type energy. We'll add a sound that helps to soothe the liver energy. The sound is SH. Think of the sound just soothing for your energy, helping you to be calm and relaxed. Clearing stress. We know that a longer exhale stimulates the vagus nerve, which helps you get into that calm, relaxed state. So you might think of the sound just as a tool to slow the exhale. Or you can think of it poetically, like wind through the branches of a tree, breaking off the brittle, the dead, the rigid, and leaving behind what is supple and flexible. Let's do one more. Okay, bring the palms face down by the upper abdomen. This is our earth center. So we have water center, earth center, fire center. Earth center's in the middle because it's about our balance and our center. So this one's called Pebble in the Pond. We draw in towards the earth center. That's like your solar plexus. And then we sink the hips back as the hands float forward. Here we exhale as the hands float out like ripples on the pond. And we inhale, draw back to the earth center. Exhale, float out. Inhale, draw in. So another common cause of inability to sleep from the sort of Taoist energetic perspective is a deficiency in the earth element, this centering, stabilizing quality here right at the center of your body. When the center is strong, it helps to ground the energy of the mind so that we're not overthinking or worrying. One thing that you might recognize that if you have trouble sleeping. Of course, all this stuff is just helpful to improve your sleep if you don't have insomnia or something. So it'll still be very helpful because we can still be more efficient sleepers. We can get more rest out of less time or simply wake up more refreshed. Anyways, think of this flow as drawing your personal energy, your personal power to your earth center, feeling strong, stable, centered there, and then pulsing that out, feeling strong in our own field, strong in our body, drawing energy to the center, pulsing it out, feeling strong in our center. All the breath through the nose, real slow here. We'll draw it in, float it down, float it up, inhale. Hands come to just above the head and then draw down, guiding your mind as you exhale down through the body. Inhale, float back up. And exhale, use your hands to guide your attention through the body from head to toe. Helping our energy to sink. Sinking's sort of the quality of that water element again. The 
just think of this attention passing through your body, clearing your mind, calming the heart, calming the liver, nourishing the stomach, the earth organ, nourishing the kidneys, the water organ. Do two more. And we'll step the feet in. Hands fold over the lower abdomen, that water region. Think of your hands like they create a little gravity there that helps your attention, your breath, and your life energy to sink there. And just allow the rest of your body to rock and sway gently. Like a tree swaying with a gentle evening breeze. Cool, calm breeze. Let your body and mind relax. Let go of control. Maybe you're blissed out and relaxed from the practice. And maybe you are still feeling lingering anger or stress anxiety or worry from the day. But wherever you're at in this exercise, we just really surrender to it. We accept where we're at. Just like the tree yields to the wind. Just allow ourselves to feel the state of our mind and energy. Letting go of our attachment. Just allow the energy to flow. If you're experiencing challenging emotions or energy, that acceptance can really help to transform that energy, as paradoxical as it sounds. If all you feel is bliss and relaxation, just allow that to move through you. Surrender deeper and deeper into it. Slowly we're going to shift our weight to one foot. Step back out with the other. Find a little circle around the belly. Again, just helping to pull the chi downwards. Root and anchor the energy. You can take a couple deep breaths here. Very nice. Let's bring the palms up in prayer by the heart. Think of this prayer as helping to still the heart like we've closed the windows of a lantern around a candle flame, shutting out the wind. Find a stillness in your heart. Watch a few gentle breaths there. I'll just hold the intention for a deep, restful sleep that allows us to wake up totally refreshed and alive and energized. But even if we aren't able to manage a deep sleep, we'll still hold the intention for a restful night. A restful night. Even if that rest doesn't include much sleep, we'll allow this night to be restful from here on. No more work, no more stress. Just to enjoy our evening. Take a deep breath in. 
Let that go with a sigh. Very nice. Well, now you have a restful sleep or relaxing evening. Hope you enjoyed and come back to this as often as you like. Don't forget, you can always help my channel out just clicking that like button or subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. Leaving a comment really helps as well. And probably the most helpful thing is just to share this with your friends and family and social media and things like that. And I'm sure that helps out the people you're sharing that with as well. I'm Nick Laffrey. Thanks for joining and I'll see you soon. The next round of my Qigong teacher training starts soon. This course is all online and is for anybody who wants to either teach Qigong or if you just want to go deeper into your own practice and personal healing journey. Click the link in the description below to learn more and also look out for any relevant promo codes I'm posting down there. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon.